Hello everyone, this is Juliet and I welcome you all to Freya News. Today in this video, we will be discussing about a syndrome named COVID syndrome. Yes guys, you have heard me right. This is not COVID, this is COVID syndrome. Yes, basically this is something which is being seen in a man during pregnancy. So, like you, in the picture you can see, oh my god, I'm growing fat, big belly, am I pregnant? These are the questions that pokes a mind of a man whenever his wife is under pregnancy. So let's check out what exactly the syndrome is all about. COVID is an involuntary manifestation of pregnancy in men with a partner who is expecting a baby, sometimes termed as sympathetic pregnancy. The next question that clicks your mind, how common is this COVID syndrome? The COVID syndrome can be considered to be a psychosomatic equivalent to primitive rituals of initiative into paternity. Various symptoms have been described in the husbands of pregnant women with an incidence from 11% to 65%. The most common of these are variations in appetite, nausea, insomnia, and weight gain. COVID symptoms follows a chronological pattern beginning in the first trimester of pregnancy before temporarily disappearing in the second and then reappearing in the final trimester. They can even extend into the period after the baby is born. Pregnancy comes with its share of side effects. There's a litany of unpleasant symptoms that might come with the territory including nausea, heartburn, abdominal pain, blotting, toothache, fluctuating appetite, trouble breathing, leg cramps, backache, and gentle irritation. Basically, these are some things which we have already discussed while discussing the pregnancy of a woman. But yes, these are the symptoms which are also undergone by men whose wife is pregnant. When we talk about psychoanalytical theory, this proposes that the syndrome evolves from the man's envy of the woman's procreative ability. The theory also proposes that for a male partner, the pregnancy acts as a catalyst for the emergence of ambivalence and resurgence of oedipal conflicts. The event may cause regression, the man's retreat to childhood feelings and conflicts triggered by his partner's pregnancy. Such as rejection, exclusion, ambivalence, and anxiety, the sense of passivity and dependency that is intensified by the developing fetus and with conflicts with the man's need for autonomy. Basically, what happens during a female pregnancy, we generally know we used to have an internal hormonal imbalance, with uh, mainly to your mood swings and whatnot. But we have never imagined this kind of psychological problem can also happen with a man. He can also undergo the same kind of uh, irritations, aggressions and a lot of uh, childhood feelings that may lead to conflicts. This is, which, this is the basic reason of this is all about what's inside his mind, isn't it? So this is a kind of syndrome that is influencing some of the men's mind. Next, a second psychoanalytical theory proposes that expectant fathers may sometimes view the unborn child as a rival of maternal attentions. Some have explained this as the expectant father's interpretation of the unborn baby as a rival from whom attention is diverted. But this is expressed through a more socially acceptable outlet such as the syndrome. The interpretation would suggest that the syndrome has a protective function for the man because it enables him to identify with his pregnant partner and strengthens his protective instinct toward her and the baby. In many cases, we have seen the men get very much insecure of his position because they personally feel after the, the baby, after he will have the baby, the, his wife, his wife or her or his woman Basically, it is being seen that he's scared of sharing his emotional love. 
his care of sharing his love which would be definitely diverted to the kid but basically this is both the parents who have the emotional attachment with the kid it never happens so but these are some feelings being generated inside a man when his wife is pregnant next is a very important factor that we need to discuss falls under this category of covid syndrome that is psychosocial psychosocial theory which takes in social circumstances instead focus on a marginalization of men women's gestation and childbirth especially among men who are having their first child by motherhood is an important defining feature for women the same may not be true for fatherhood and men expectant women have their maternity careers endorsed commercially socially and medically in contrast to the careers of prospective fathers since the 1970s men have become familiar figures in the delivery room and their attendance is now almost obligatory the fact that men can't actually give birth or experience delivery directly can relegate men to an ancillary role where they feel marginal and sometimes useless to resolve the ancillary status during gestation to resolve this ancillary ancillary to resolve this ancillary status during gestation and childbirth the man in inadvertently diverts attentions from the women to himself through a display of a covid syndrome however this implies that the syndrome is a conscious entity next comes your transition and crisis parental transitional theory proposes that transition to fatherhood is potentially pathological involving disruption interpersonal struggles that are highly stressful basically the transition from dad to tied entities such as man women man wife to a tried group of 3 constitute one of the most cataclysmic periods from expectant man this may be compounded by the fact that men usually accept pregnancy but without any concomitant physical changes that reinforce its reality they lack the biological markers of the transition to parenthood and this disembodied experiences of pregnancy are very different from women's experiences this in turn causes multiple conflicts during transition including jealousy and rivalry with the unborn baby and intensified ambivalence towards their own parents and sexuality conflicts with all of this going on it wouldn't be surprising to see some psychological fallout attachment yet paradoxically men who have had preparation for their parental role and natural classes for example show a higher susceptibility to being afflicted afflicted the syndrome attachment theory proposes that the man's closeness to the fetus give rise to the syndrome in a seminal study published in 1983 a sample of white middle class first time expectant men found a modest correlation between more parental fetal involvement and attachment that is feeling and hearing the unborn child kicking confirmation through the women's pregnancy symptoms and the ultrasound scan with the incidence of six physical symptoms of the syndrome this included feeling more tired 34% sleeping difficulties 33% indigestion 14% stomach upset 12% appetite changes 8% and constipation 6% the investigator concluded men's symptoms were a reflection of the level of attachment to the unborn child and involvement in the pregnancy this is uh, this particular thing can be well compared with your day to day life where when you start living with someone you can also feel and experience the emotions and pain that the partner is undergoing this is how the syndrome is all about next is your attack of the hormones covid syndromes also appears to show a relationship with hormones but there is a depth of research investigating such an association 
To date, only two studies have supported a hormonal basis for the syndrome, one published in 2000 and another in 2004. The findings of both indicated a significant increase in men's level of the hormones of prolactin and estrogen in the first and third trimester of pregnancy, but lower level of testosterone and stress hormone cortisol. These hormonal changes were associated with the display of parental behaviors as well as COVID symptoms of fatigue, appetite changes, weight gain. Ah, this is amazing. Dad to be feeling pregnant too, COVID syndrome. Sympathy pregnancy could be the reason. So, a plethora of different theories have offered accounts for the origins of the syndrome. However, some of this, such as the hormonal explanation, have not been investigated sufficiently and those that have psychosocial reasons. Psychosocial reasons, for example, clearly showing disparate disparate findings with Wiggins and Definite concluded that symptoms have roots in this. So ladies, you have to take care of yourself and also along with you, you have to take care of your husbands because at times some of them undergo this COVID syndrome. Of course, in all the cases, we do have pros and cons. So in this also, we have certain things which is amazing because the male can also feel the emotional and internal changes you are undergoing because they also keep feeling those things inside them as well. Anyways, hope this video is definitely going to help you out and understand the psychology of a man during this COVID syndrome. What exactly is this COVID syndrome as well as the basic root cause of this COVID syndrome. In my next slide, we have decided to discuss in more detail about lot many syndromes which a male undergoes while his woman is undergoing pregnancy. So till then, thank you for watching my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe, share and like my channel. That is Pregnant News. If you like my video, please do not forget to click on the thumb icon and the bell icon above. Be updated with the Pregnant News. Thank you.